Hi, and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. I'm Chef Dan. This is Doris with a D. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And to new people, welcome. Welcome back. Um, this is a very special edition that we're doing. Yes. Um, we're starting a, a different site. So yeah. basically anything north of Forest Boulevard is going to be on the new site. Anything south of Homestead will be on the new site. Mm -hmm. The name of the new site is? The Traveling Adventures of SoFlo Dining. Available on Patreon. Uh, we'll set up links and everything to it so you can find it. Absolutely. But we're going to keep SoFlo, SoFlo, because we find that we are traveling too far north and south to be SoFlo. Right, right. So, so please welcome yep. and, and come along for the trip. But this is a very special one for a lot of reasons. Um, okay, this is Lisbon located in orlando um i think it's in the marketplace on dr phillips boulevard right it's i, I think it's about a mile from the eye yeah, i believe about yeah um i know pulling out of the driveway you could see it so <laughs> um all right so lisbon in orlando mm -hmm. so I'll tell everybody how you heard about it how we heard about it. okay mm -hmm. this is an interesting one yes we were in st petersburg looking for a place to eat we found fadu Fadu was a Portuguese restaurant. Um, I looked into it a little bit to find out that it's St. Petersburg first and only Portuguese restaurant. Mm -hmm. And that the owner had started a restaurant in Orlando before this called Lisbon. Mm -hmm. And it's Orlando's first and only Portuguese restaurant. Right. So after we dined at Fadu, we loved it so much, we decided we were going to go check out Lisbon right. because we had plans to go to Orlando and stay in Orlando. Mm -hmm. A funny thing happened when the Fadu video aired, the owner's son contacted us and asked, if we're ever in Orlando, can you check out our other restaurant, Lisbon? And we said, yes, we already have plans. I told him we already had plans too. <laughs> so this is that review. Um, yeah, so that's how we found them. Okay, so first impression in seating. First impression, um, I loved it. It's it's in a, a strip mall that's loaded with restaurants, but they're right in the middle, so this is the place to go. They have a nice little outdoor seating area. Inside, when you walk in, is pretty big. A lot of tables, um, very nice wine, I guess, wine room area. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we got in, our table was immediately to the right. It was a large table because we were a table of five. Mm -hmm. uh, we were being accompanied by my friend Ed, his son Zach, and his friend uh, son's friend Scott. Okay, so um, what about the menu options? Menu options, okay. Menu options, very Portuguese. If you know Portuguese, it's very seafood. Uh, very geared to seafood. There's a little bit of everything, really. Yes, there is. Um, as you know, when we go over what we ate, you'll see we, everyone had a little bit of something. But it's it's a highly seafood menu. A lot of bacalao, which is the fried, uh, fried salted pork, um, stuff like that. Okay. Um, how original and how it represents its identity? It's very original. It's very Portuguese. Mm -hmm. uh, before I get to what we all ate, you want to tell them about what we drank? Uh, yes, we drank something called Sumol. S-U-M-O-L. It's a Portuguese soda. It comes in orange, pineapple, and passion fruit. And it is absolutely delicious. Not too sweet. And um, it's really... It goes great with the food. <laughs> we had it in in um, St. Petersburg. That's how we yeah, discovered we had it. Yeah, father. Yes. And we loved it. Absolutely. All right, you ready so, for me? So, what about the food and presentation? All right, food and presentation. Okay. <clears throat> All right. For appetizers, we had a uh, the chorizo um, uh, flamed. Right. It's uh, chorizo al bombero. It's, yeah. Excuse me, I'm not Portuguese. I grew up in a Portuguese neighborhood, but I'm not Portuguese. So basically, it's a big chorizo that comes being flamed. Um, it was enough that we cut it up, and the five of us shared that. Yeah. Um, my main meal, I had the pork cutlets that were marinated and grilled. They're excellent. They, the eating them right, they were like butter. Yes, they were. Cutting the pork cutlets, it was like butter. Unbelievable. Doris had the shrimp in the Mozambique sauce. Mm -hmm which is a little spicy it's kind of like tabasco sauce like a smoky hot 
but not overpowering. Mm -hmm. um, take a look at the size of these shrimp in the picture here. Yeah, those are grilled tiger shrimp. Yeah, those okay. they're huge. They're they're like baby lobsters, I think. Yes, they are. Yeah. They they rival the langoustine, which are the yeah. edible European prawns. Yes, yeah, I mean they were huge. <laughs> um, Zach had what I had in St. Petersburg, which was the uh, the shrimp and the chef's sauce. Right. Which you love the chef sauce so much you took it and put it all over your potatoes again. Yes, I did, and it was absolutely delicious. In St. Petersburg, she put it all over her, her vegetables. But, but I asked permission first. Um, Ed had the octopus. I didn't get to try that because he was way across the table. And he didn't offer us any. Yeah. It was it, delicious it was, looking. Uh, and Scott had, I forgot how to call it, but it's basically a steak. I think... If you look at the menu, it's the first option. It's Pizza a steak. Pizza a portuguesa, it's called. Okay, it's yeah. a steak with an egg on it. It's the first option on the menu. I was going to have that, but then when I saw the poor cutlets, I had to have them. Um, he devoured it. And actually, yes. there was no food left on the table. I mean, we, At all. Everybody, right, everything was gone. Yeah. Everything was devoured. Yeah, we were. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Eating. <laughs> no, you know, funny side story. I forgot this in the beginning of uh, how we found it. When I was telling uh, Ed and Zach about the place the night before, Zach said that he had gone there with Anna when oh, she that's visited. Right. His mom, right? And he, Zach had already been there. So he already had the heads up on it before we did. So Yeah, yeah and he steered us. He steered yep. us very, very well. Yep. Um, so. so what about the portion sizes and usefulness of the presentation? Portion sizes were huge. Um, Phenomenal. <laughs> the authenticity, it, it was Portuguese. It was Portuguese. Like I said, I grew up in a Portuguese neighborhood. It was Portuguese. <laughs> and dessert. Dessert, okay. Dessert, you're going to have to help with because I can't remember this. Um, a lot of terminology here. And all I remember is I had sawdust. Yeah. You had what was <laughs> the Serradura sawdust. Um, and it's something that uh, Zach had said that yeah. uh, his mom makes at home. Yes. Uh, and it's prepared by layering pudding, whipped cream, and Maria biscuits. Um Chef Dan said it was delicious and light. Yeah. And a very good choice. Really good. I had the um, flan, right. which is very typical. Yes. And very delicious. Delicious. And Zach and Ed had the pastéis de Belém, which is the famous Portuguese egg custard. Right. Tarts. It was warm. Uh, and yeah. they're served warm. They had them warm, yeah. Yes. And... Uh, uh, nothing was left and we even had a round of lattes and espressos yep so yeah a good time was had by all and everybody left full full <laughs> so what's your overall impression overall impression like mm -hmm. i said in the beginning if you're in that area in that strip mall go go to lisbon in orlando you'll love it you will i mean it's really good what about recommendations and the cost recommendations okay this is unusual for me um, I'm going to say go through the menu, see what you like. I don't know what kind of food you like or what you like, so go through the menu, and I'm sure you'll find something you'll like there. <laughs> everything, I mean, everything on our table was delicious. The last time we went in St. Petersburg, delicious. So go for what you like. Exactly. I mean, I had pork. Exactly. A lot of people don't like pork. So I had shrimp. I love shrimp. Right. Some people don't like sea. So And, and uh, the, the other time we also had the, uh, the pulpo. Yes, we had the yeah. grilled poop, but that was yeah. the other place, right? Yeah, so yep. yeah, no, it's absolutely delicious, yep. but we love seafood. So. But yes, I would say definitely party. you're safe there with anything you order, but order what you like. Yeah, and enjoy. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to tell your friends and family that you saw it on SoFlo Dining. And don't forget to tell the restaurant that you saw them or heard from them from us. That's right, SoFlo Dining. Tell them SoFlo Dining sent you, so mm -hmm. as always... Enjoy, and I'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Being that it's the last one, I'm going to wait yes, a little we'll, longer. We'll see you on <laughs> Patreon. Um, again, anything north of Forest Boulevard mm -hmm. in, I guess, what is that, West Palm Beach? West Palm Beach, yeah. And anything south of Homestead will now be on our sister site, Patreon. There will be links everywhere, so... We'll see you there. We'll see you there. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye.